You know what? If that's my one parenting tip I could give anybody, it would be... Hey everyone, it's Olivia. If you're new here, please give that subscribe button some love. Normally I don't record in my in my room, but I have a one kid in the bathtub, so if you hear splashing, yelling, screaming, screeching, woohoos, or anything like that, please, or wahas, please just ignore them. I have a kid in the bathtub, a baby on the bed, and a pile of laundry that needs to get folded, so we're just gonna chat while all that chaos is going down. So today is kind of like a story time. I wanted to chat with you guys about... Oh man, this is gonna be rough. Hey, hey, can you be a little quiet? No. Okay, so today I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about what it was like for me becoming a parent with zero kid experience, knowledge, anything like that. Like I, that's a very blanket. I had never changed a diaper. I, I, I had never even, like I held a baby, I held two babies before having one of my own. So yeah, uh, we, uh, my husband was kind of in the same boat, so we came into having a baby as like, literally, newbies. We had absolutely no idea what we were getting ourselves into. So for me growing up, I was I was definitely not your neighborhood babysitter. I was the goth girl, honestly, quite frankly, I think a lot of children were terrified of me. I made multiple babies cry just by looking at them, so I didn't have that motherly instinct. And honestly, I swore up and down I was never ever going to have kids. Like that was that was not in the cards for me, that's for sure. So you can imagine my parents' surprise when, surprise, surprise, we announced that we were pregnant. It's like she got louder when I started doing the video. I'm not even kidding you guys. She was not this loud five minutes ago. Between you and me, we had talked about having kids. It was definitely something that was on our radar. We weren't planning for it the first time. We did the second time, but we, we both knew we were both okay with with having a baby, basically. So when when we did find out we were pregnant, it wasn't really like a, oh, what are we gonna do? You guys would have laughed so hard at the first time we had to change Piper's diaper. Envision this, if you will. Two completely newbie parents in the hospital and we had to change her diaper. We don't know how the tab things work. We, I mean, like, it, it's like, okay, what? It goes under the butt, it goes over the crotch, you know, like, that. But we could not fathom how one person could, could manage putting a diaper on by themselves. Like, that was a two-person job in our heads. So Jim held the feet up, and I, you know, and I managed the tabs and the things and folding it all on. It probably took a good two to three minutes. No, I'm not. And then like flash forward to now, like just the other day, I changed her diaper with one hand while feeding her a bottle with the other hand. That's when you know you're a seasoned parent, right? Of course, I have to say, Google, thank you. Thank you, Google. You helped me a lot. When we got pregnant, like, we definitely had no idea what to expect. Like, I had zero knowledge about pregnancy. I became one of those moms where, like, I was looking up all the things and I was trying to be as informed as possible. It's kind of crazy because by default, I said, obviously, I'm getting an epidural. That's just what you do. You know, like, not thinking anything of it because that's just, that's kind of just what you're programmed to know. You know, and then I researched more about it, and if you've gotten an epidural, if you're getting an epidural, like, no beef towards you at all. Like, do what you need to do. But for me, personally, I just wasn't the route I wanted to take after doing all the research and finding out, you know, different different side effects and what... I gotta say, guys. You know, what all comes along with having an epidural. Research to the point of educating yourself, but don't, like, get your, like make yourself paranoid. You have to trust that you're gonna have the instincts, you're gonna have, you're just, you're gonna figure it out when you become a parent. So, if you've never been a parent, you've never been that kid person, like, you can do it. I can do it. 
you could do it. <laughs> to this day, my entire family, we're still all baffled that, like, I have two kids. Like, it still is, like, this weird thing. Girl, you dropping it. You dropping a bow. Get it with your strong hand. There you go. Let me know if you get that reference. Okay. Anyway, for anybody out there who's not a parent or is considering becoming a parent, get a puppy. If you're really on the fence and you want to know what it's like, get a puppy and put a diaper on your puppy. Yeah. It's kind of like having an infant. I'm just rambling, but I kind of just wanted to share that weird little story time. Like, I was never built... I was never built to be a mother. I have a vagina. Yes, I was. Okay. I never intended on being a mother. That... I just never wanted that. Ever. But honestly, now that I'm in it, I kind of dig it. Not enough to have three. Two. Two's my limit. Go with your gut. Stay informed. And just have fun with it, honestly. If that's my one, you know what? If that's my one parenting tip I could give anybody, it would be to just have fun with it. Because you could easily get stressed out over germs, the proper way to do things. Is this going to be, like, bad for my baby? Like, you could overwhelm yourself with stress so much, obsessing over little things. So if that's my one parenting tip, it's just have fun. It's going to be okay. Kids are cool, but they're not the end-all, be-all. If you have kids, cool. If you don't have kids, cool. That's where we're at today. Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I just want to do a little story time, chat with you guys, try to get some laundry folded. <gasps> now she's quiet. I'm done with the video. And now she's quiet. If you like this video, let me know. Like I said before, please give that subscribe button some love. I would really appreciate it, you guys. You keep staying simply awesome. I'll keep staying simply Ollie, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Don't judge me. Thumbnail time. Gonna take a thumbnail today. Thumbnail time. Okay, ready? Hey. Ah!